everyone and welcome to the Dharma Journey. So it's Saturday morning, I've just gotten up, given the kids breakfast and myself breakfast and I'm ready to start vlogging this weekend so you can follow me along. I'm trying to get back into the swing of things and vlog at least once a week. I used to vlog a lot more but if you're new to this channel my name is Jo and I'm a mum of five. I'm also a part-time working scientist so life is busy, definitely. My oldest is 12 and my youngest is three. I have a boy, two girls, boy boy, just to give you context. So the girls went for a sleepover at their friends last night. It's their first friend sleepover. Uh, we know the family well enough that we felt comfortable for the girls to go together. They're going together. So yeah, that was their first sleepover. So we'll see how. It was when they come back, so they're still there. I'll probably pick them up later in the afternoon. I have Esmond, who's a little bit run down with a cold. I think it sort of started yesterday. So today I've just told him to take it easy, which is hard because Esmond is my, the, my little helper in the house. He loves to sort of have a neat and tidy house, so he will often help with cleaning dishes. He loves to cook, so I don't have that extra help this weekend. So I've got to step step up my game, hey? And what else? Uh, the two little ones have swimming this morning and normally Mahesh takes them, but he is doing an ad hoc job today. So he's working all day. So it is just me and the kids, or well, the boys for now. And I will take Eddie to swimming. I don't think I'll take Evan because he seems to be sneezing a bit. So I wonder if he's maybe um, getting something or something stirring in him. So I'll just take Eddie, my mum's coming so I can go do that and she'll just hang out with me for the day as well. So stick around. First things first, got to make the bed. Hey, a clean bed is the way to start the day. So I would agree. I am really happy. Oh, I love it when my bed is made. My bedroom is in a really prominent area of the house and unless I close the door, I will walk past my bed several times. Like you can see it straight through the door. And when it's unmade, I just, I don't know, it just doesn't give me a great feeling. And I love the feeling of coming uh, back to bed at night time and the bed is nicely made and it's, you know, it's just a nicer feeling. So for me personally, I like to make my beds in the morning. Usually weekends will be Mahesh's turn to make the bed and I make it Monday to Friday just because I am home more than he is. So that's how we do it in our house. And now it's time to do my hair. Those of you who have been following for a while and are observant, you would have noticed I've had a haircut. It used to be down to about here. I decided to go for a chop and then to get more of like a fringe type of thing. I don't like it. It didn't turn out the way I planned. Um, so I'm kind of just putting up with it until it grows out. Yeah, sorry. Try not to look at my hair. I mean, it is definitely more manageable, so I usually like to straighten it. I wash my hair once a week and then I'll straighten it and then it kind of is more manageable through the week. So short hair definitely works that way. But I just, I feel like I didn't want it this short. I probably wanted it down to about here so that it didn't do this little kink that it's been doing. And the fringe was just a tad too short that, because I just wanted it to be like a side fringe that you, I've had it in the past, but it went shorter than I had planned. Anyway. job of mine is changing towels so let's do that so I wash towels once a week we swap them over so I just go around every Saturday morning grab all the towels in all the bathrooms and do one big load I also have endless loads of laundry that I go through daily every day I try and pick up the laundry a little bit every day it helps um, and keeping on top of the sorting, but if I don't do that, I 
ends up with laundry baskets full of clean clothes, but unsorted. And then no one can find their things. This is my laundry system. I haven't had a chance to do it. I really want to do a proper video on it, but basically every person has their own shelf and basket that they can take out. So when the laundry comes out of the dryer, I, the idea is to sort it into everyone's pockets. And then I leave it from there. They should be able to put their own laundry away. I do do the little two uh, kids because obviously they're still little, but the rest of them... Hi! Hi! Who's there? As you can see, I don't fold most of the time because I don't have time to fold. If I do have time, I will fold, but that's a very rare event. Um, so the idea is that they put their clothes away pretty quickly so that it doesn't get too many creases. Or at least I try and when I put it in the buckets, is to try and just kind of lay it flat neatly so that it doesn't get too many creases. swimming and Eddie got his McDonald's treat. Mahesh normally takes him for lunch at McDonald's after. We didn't stay today. Stay. I got a mama treat coffee. Ooh, <laughs> Ooh nuggets. Yummy. Shall we go inside? Eddie's going for a sleepover at Grandma's house so we're just waiting for Grandma to come and collect him. This little man has fallen asleep in front of his favourite coca melon. He's clearly fighting something. Oh, don't wake him. No, no, no. That he wants to sleep at 12 in the afternoon. <laughs> Eddie asked for some cookies after swimming as well because it's right near Subway. And so they had a box of six for six dollars. So I couldn't resist and I might be a little bit naughty and have one myself. Don't tell anyone. finished baking my loaves of bread which I'll show you in a second um, I'm gonna leave them overnight and cut them tomorrow and make lots and lots of sandwiches right yeah for school and freeze them uh, the girls are back from their sleepover sadly Ebony was not quite herself at the sleepover um, we were told this and we thought maybe it was homesickness um, but anyways turned out she's not quite well she has a fever so something's going around the house um, around the kitties. Hopefully you don't get it, I don't get it, and it just stops at Ebony. Um, so she has just had a shower and going to rest. Um, did you have fun at your sleepover? Yeah. Yeah, they were pretty spoiled, so they're lucky to have friends like that, aren't you? Yeah. 
Uh, I went to yoga, uh, so I did a yoga class, and well, that's basically all I could kind of get to today. So, yoga is kind of like my third choice <laughs> when it comes to classes. I like aqua uh, stretch and stretch class, um, and then if neither of those are available, I will go to yoga. Then I quickly popped to the shops to get some groceries. We're a bit low on groceries. Mahesh is back from work, as you can see. Um, so I got a few groceries, but I'm planning to go to Costco's on Wednesday, so I didn't want to get too much, just a little bit to stretch us out the next couple of days before I get to Costco's. That's about it. Came home, tidied up the house, had dinner, and it's my time. So this is the end of Saturday night, and we'll meet you back again tomorrow morning. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to, what is it, Sunday now. <laughs> Day two of the weekend, if you guys following me along, I think I'm doing a better job at vlogging this weekend than I did last weekend, just getting back used to it. So I've just finished up at the gym. I did an aqua class. That was fun. Oh, hair is terrible. I have normally been doing, I guess, a Saturday, uh, Sunday 10 a.m. aqua class, but I missed it last couple of weekends. But I always try and do four workouts a week and one of them will be on a weekend day however yesterday I did yoga so I've done two days because my week coming up is a little bit all over the place that I'm not sure how many classes I can make during the week so I thought if I could get two on the weekend then at least um, I only really need to try and get three no sorry two during the week ideally three but um, I won't stress if I only get two anyways I'm gonna go head back home might just quickly do a light makeup this is how I do my light makeup when I really can't be bothered with makeup, but just want to look slightly more put together. It's just a little bit of concealer under my eyes because I genetically have dark circles under my eyes regardless of how much sleep I have. And then I've always got redness around my nose. So that is basically what I cover up on my most minimal makeup days. Um, which is usually my home days or when I'm not going to work and then a bit of blush I always smile when I do it so I get it right on the apples and a little bit across there to give you that sun kiss look and that is all I do when I do basic makeup hopefully that makes me look a little bit better I think I'll fix my hair when I get home I'm still a little bit hot from aqua class um, I normally go home and have a shower but I decided I would just have a shower at, at the um, gym slash pool uh, just because it feels better when you get home and you're already all ready to get going rather than oh, I need to jump in the shower anyways let me get going while I've been out exercising Eloise has been busy well they match your um Woody making little mini donuts they taste yummy I'm gonna taste it right now it's okay I worked out <laughs> Two. Not over much more. And the big orange. Mmm. Mm. They're really good. And bite size. Yes. Thank you, Eloise. You're welcome. Some mushroom with olive oil and garlic. 
in here I've got some pumpkin roasting in the air fryer. I'm using this on the pumpkins. Uh, it's more than just a bagel season, what it's called from Costco's. Um, but it's basically got sesame seeds, white and black sesame seeds, garlic flakes, onion flakes, poppy seeds, and sea salt flakes. I'll also cook up an egg and I'm thinking, oh, and I'm going to add some cheese. So we took the braids out of Eloise's hair. She's got full on crimps going on. Turn around. I'll give it a good wash today, but this is pretty cool. It took a good hour to take out. Not something I thought about when we did it in the first place, so. It took an hour? Yeah, pretty long. So I'll think twice about doing it again, but it saves so much time in the mornings not having to do her hair every morning because Eloise likes to have two braids for school, but I haven't been doing that because she's already had all the braids. So it was super time saving and I might consider doing it myself in the future. It lasted about four weeks, was it? Yeah, so four weeks of not having to do hair. <laughs> so uh, Mahesh and I went for a nice date, coffee date. Uh, every Sunday we've been trying to stick to this routine of um, his parents come over, they watch the kids for a bit and we pop out for a bit of a date, coffee date. Uh, it just gives us an opportunity to chat about the week ahead, um, talk about anything else and just connect in general um, and it's really lovely when we do do it um, we can see the difference so anyways we just did that and then I've come back and I'm trying to dedicate every now and again when I get a chance half an hour an hour to spending time in this shed uh, so I run a science business if you haven't been following me and I've reduced it in I guess the size and amount of work I do I only do it like half a day once a week so not much at all um, so I don't need much stock so I'm just spending time to reduce the amount of things in the shed so I'm just trying to chuckle one little shelf at a time and then hopefully eventually at some point I would have gone through the whole shed and probably need to start all over again <laughs> anyways let me get to it